Now that you've learned how to access the control center, did you know that you can add widgets and drop widgets from that control center? Let's go back into the settings. And when I go back into the settings, you may or may not have remembered the control center, but now that it makes a little bit more sense, I'm going to go ahead and click the control center there. And the first thing, first two things it asks you are, do you want to access it within apps? So if you have an app opened, such as Safari, you can still, as long as that's toggled on, you can still kind of pull down from that right corner and you can still access it from there. And also showing your home controls as well. So now you saw the different um, controls that I had within my control center. So I had the silent mode, I had the timer, I had the camera, I had the Apple TV, and I have the screen recording. There are other controls down here that you can also access. So if I was using shortcuts, I could do that. If I wanted alarms, I could do that. If I wanted to scan a, a QR code, if I wanted to put it in dark mode, guided access. If you had hearing aids and you wanted to add to that, if you use Apple Home, keyboard brightness, low power mode, magnifier, music recognition, if you often use notes, where you have a quick note, if you're recognizing some sounds, a stopwatch, you want to increase the text size or decrease the text size, and voice memos. So the one that I'm going to add is the notes. So all I have to do is go to next to the green little plus button there. When I add that, you can see now that my notes are there. And I can change the order of how these are show up as well. So I can kind of drag this up here. And now when I minimize, I can pull down my notes and see now there's a note as well. So I can go ahead and I can click on that and it's going to quickly open up my notes. And so the control center again is back in the settings and you can add and drop different controls for your control center and personalize it for yourself.